to show you guys one of my favorite Samhain spells. This is something that I do every year and it's kind of celebratory, but it also is extremely practical at the same time. So this is my Jack-o'-lantern protection and ancestral beacon spell. So basically what this spell is going to do, it's going to protect you from evil spirits like a jack-o'-lantern has done for centuries. And it's also going to call the ancestors to you. It's going to lead them to you like a beacon. So let's jump right on in and let me show you what you're going to need. So what you'll need for this spell is, of course, a pumpkin. Um, you can also use like any type of gourd really. Um, pumpkins are probably more widely available, but originally people would carve turnips. I have here just some third eye psychic oil. This has some seashells, some amethyst chips, and it has some jasmine essential oil in there. Super easy to make. I always have this stuff on hand. Um, and then we have our herb mix. I have in here salt, cinnamon, wormwood, and mugwort. All of these herbs are like going to really boost your intuition, your psychic awareness. They're all connected to the spirit world in some sort of way. And of course, salt is grounding and protective, which is exactly what you want when you're doing any type of spirit work. Moving on, you're going to need a candle. With a pumpkin this small, you can only use a tea light candle because you'll burn the top of the pumpkin. Um, but use any type of candle you want, depending on the size of your pumpkin. All right, now that we know what we need to actually get started, the first thing we're going to do is to carve the pumpkin. Now you can carve whatever you want into the pumpkin. I tend to do a really like classic kind of like Halloween jack-o'-lantern. Um, I just really like that kind of style. So you can do it up, you can make it simple. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna get to that and come back to you. Here's how my pumpkin turned out. He is just adorable. So once you have your jack-o'-lantern, what you're going to do is take your mix and this again is salt, cinnamon, wormwood, and mugwort. This is like a divination blend. This is like a psychic enhancement blend. Mugwort and wormwood I associate very heavily with the spirit world and entering the spirit world. So as the veil is thinning, the mugwort and the wormwood is going to kind of kick that into overdrive while the salt is going to protect and of course the cinnamon is your favorite multi-purpose herb it's going to enhance your intuition it's going to connect you to the spirit world it's going to empower everything to make it even stronger um so i'm going to go ahead and dump this right on in now when you mix this up i like to chant othala which is basically the rune for inheritance and ancestors, family. Um, so that's kind of how I do it. But again, I, um, I draw a lot from ancient uh, Norse magic, folk magic. So moving on, we have our candle. Now what you're gonna do here is you're gonna take some of your divination psychic oil. You're gonna put a little bit on your finger. Well, actually, let me do my power finger. And you're gonna go sunwise, diocel. And you're just gonna get that all up in there. So if you're using a bigger pumpkin, bigger candle, you can carve things into this. Um, now, if you want, this would be the moment where you would add your crystals and things like that. I'm thinking quartz is probably good here. Um, tiger's eye for protection. Um, but just be very careful because the flame is going to be in close quarters with these crystals. But that that is it. That is simple as it is. Thank you all for watching. Make sure that you like and subscribe. And I hope you all have a wonderful Samhain. Happy casting.